Tech 21 already has one of the best selling cases on the market and their technology allows you to do something like this with your phone without having to worry about whether or not your whole device is going to crack. But their customers are asking them to protect the front of the device too, and that's where the impact shield comes in. And it's a new film that you apply to the top of devices like the iPhone 5, the Galaxy S3, Galaxy S4, as well as the iPad. And we're going to show you how easy it is to apply and the type of scratch resistance that it gives you. So uh, this is uh, Giles. Giles, yeah. Giles, sorry. Uh, can yeah. you just give us a quick run through of how you apply this? This is an iPad mini you're going to show people Yeah, how it works. so what I'm going to do actually is drop an iPhone 5 shield onto the iPad mini just so that we can then go through the demos. Sure. Now, the, the case comes wrapped in the cardboard case like this. Right. Inside you will have the impact shield. Mm -hmm. The impact shield, you then rip it open, has a protective cover on it. We just simply remove this. I've just been wiping the screen, cleaning the screen. And typically you would have um, squeegee bottles and fluids and so on. You don't need that with this. Right. You just line it up and drop it on. And then I just run my finger through it and you can see it's very quickly self-adhering to the, to the sides. All those bubbles here, they just push out really easily because there's actually no glue being used there. Mm -hmm. So I just tease them out really easily. You can see them all going straight away. talked about the three layers of protection that Yeah, here. so whilst I'm just easing out those final uh, bubbles there, the, uh, the impact shield is made of three layers. It has a very hard top layer. Right. And the best way I'll show you is within the packaging. A very hard top layer which spreads out the impact force. Right. A second layer here which is absorbing the impact force. And that actually is a BASF polymer which is also used in bulletproof glass. Right. And the third layer is a very soft base layer. So overall they are spreading out onto a larger area, mm -hmm. absorbing the impact force and slowing down the impact. It's right. exactly the opposite of an emergency hammer which is a very fine point very fast impact on a very small area. And it's not just about the impact of uh, something with force, it can also just be something that scratches your device. That's right. right. So people typically chuck their uh, screen films, their, their uh, phones into their bags and uh, pockets, right. where you've also got keys, coins, that kind of thing. Right. And what we've done is we've added a, a polymer to the top layer. Now if I quickly show you here with a wire brush, I don't know if you can catch this in the light, mm -hmm. but you can see this wire brush scratching the surface. And uh, there's a reflow effect here. There's a polymer on the surface which shows the polymer actually closing in around these scratches. I don't know if you can see that in the light there, but... The idea is that it self-heals. That's right. So it's a self-healing top coating. It's closing up around those scratches. And this is available now for... So this is now available. Uh, iPhone 5, Samsung, uh, Galaxy, mm -hmm. Samsung Note 2, S3, S4, all through T-Mobile. Um, and they're around thirty dollars now, and we have other ones on our website, Tech Twenty One website. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for a quick walk through. This is the Impact Shield from Tech Twenty One. This is Mark Spoonauer at uh, Laptop Magazine, and we're at CTIA 2013.